Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from MyJS Electronics and today we're going to continue with ABB ACS150 drive where we're going to be setting up the drive today in the remote control using 2 wire control, 3 wire control and also we're going to be using the potentiometer, go through some parameters and more or less getting, uh, getting, getting, getting familiar how he runs remotely. If you haven't seen the last video where we run the video in a uh, local mode, set now uh, in the full commissioning factory reset and uh, and uh, parameter setups and live tests and things like that. That will be in the that video is going to be in the description below as well. All manuals, all related videos, all the part numbers and everything like that for everything that we use in this video will be also all in the links below. And before we get started, as usual, if you guys haven't checked out our website where you can find most of the products that I am reviewing in here all the stations and all the drives and things like that they're all going to be in on our website and on our ebay page as well so uh without further ado let's get started <music> Okay, now that everything is wired up, I shall show you what we're going to be doing. This is the setup we're going to be first. We're going to be going to is our two wire system, and the macro we're going to be using is ABB's uh, default macro, which looks well. It's actually called a default macro. As you can see, there's all the selections uh, there, uh, that they, all the digital inputs and outputs, uh, what they do. We are not going to be using this part of the controls because I have my external contactor right down here that's going to, that will be controlling. But if you want a, uh, a drive to uh, notify you if there's a fault with some sort of, you can see there's a little lamp you can do down there. Uh, you can do that with, uh, with the COM, NC and NO, which are all these three down here. And for that, you can use as well the inst internal uh, power supply, which are we are going to be using the internal power supply for uh, this, uh, these applications. So where you can see down there, the ground and COM needs to be linked out for the drive to work, as that works out as per all PLCs as a zero for our inputs and uh, we will be making a couple of uh, changes to our application and one of them is because the uh, control station we're going to be using it looks like a VAT which I call a uh, two-wire control there we go USB run button we can choose forward reverse we implement a jog button and also we got a uh, uh, speed potentiometer all components are uh, coming from schneider electric so pretty uh, good quality so um, the regarding the jog button this is something that we need to implement and if you go to the uh, uh, per, uh, uh, the manual page 88 you'll be able to see this 88 page where you can you know, pretty much explain to you how the jog system and it works and how to set it up and i'll quickly run you through uh, how we set it up so uh, in this in this drive there's like in other drives you usually go for the for the parameter where the digital input is assigned to and you sort of select what that into digital input is going to do but for this drive is all the other way around you go for the application you want to use for any of the digital inputs and then you assign digital input to that uh, assignment so uh, it's blue with uh, it's, it's other way around for ABB and never, uh, nevertheless it is good and it's fairly uh, understandable so the first thing we need to do we need to uh, go for the parameter 1010 and uh, we, uh, we go for the L which is the long one then 1010 is going to be that and then we need to go for the parameter 10 and in here we need to, to select which input we are going to be using for a jog and as you can see, I already have selected number three, and that will be my digital input number three, will be my jog. And if you look at the, if you're now using the jog, the ease, uh, if you click the jog button, uh, he's uh, by default, his uh, acceleration deceleration is 60 seconds. Super slow, Jesus Christ. So that's something you need to change, and you can do that and parameter 2205 for acceleration and 2206 for deacceleration. So, uh, and to get to that, as I showed in the last video, it's very good segregation of the groups. So you go for 2, 2, and then you go for the 0, 5. As you can see, you put one second in there. And 0, 6, I have put one second as well. That's how pretty much we have set up our jog. So now, effectively, the, we, the, the macro that's in there has been a little bit reassigned, as you can see. 
the constant speed did you do that now it's being changed to a um, uh, to uh, do the jog so uh, and uh, regarding the potentiometer you need to make sure that this guy in here is set to U could have just put V for the volt but they put U on there and let's let's talk about a little bit about the wiring in entire station so uh, ooh, trying to grab it so pretty much in the back of the station Need to remove that out of the way. Uh, what we have in here, the source wire, uh, which is a uh, 24 volt signal coming through our e step. It's a very basic e step. All it's going to do is remove the power to all the all the signals in here. So then it then it goes through the e step and uh, and uh, distributes to all the normally open contacts. 3 will go for run, 4 will go for the forward or reverse, and 5 will obviously going to be our, a, uh, uh, what's his name, um, a jog button. So that's pretty much that, and obviously that we've got potentiometer going into as well. And regarding potentiometer, you need to go for a parameter 1103. Actually, let's just go back to that. And, uh, and zero three in in this one there is a, a lot of ways you can uh, use and control your uh, frequency so we are going to be using the potentiometer for the volts and uh, to use the, for the potentiometer you have to use a uh, ia ground and plus 10 volts and uh, whichever potentiometer you have for me number eight will in, in in this station number eight uh, we will be going into AI and uh, now number eight we're gonna yeah number eight is gonna go into a uh, ground uh, number seven is gonna go into AI and number six will be going to 10 volts so uh, pretty much you use AI ground and 10 volts and then uh, if you if you don't get the right combination just keep switching around until you get what you need so uh, it will not harm the drive so uh, you can do that as well uh, just in case you're using potentiometer where you cannot uh, see where things are going so other than that the only thing is left now is to try it before we uh, get get started there's one more param parameter i am going to show you which is a parameter oh. Uh, L, it's going to be 1301 and 1301 you can see down there it's like a percentage in down there that the, some of the macros has that set to uh, 30 percent so which means that the the, the it's, it's like a, it's like it's like a scaling so where where it starts reading the potentiometer from so uh, basically if it's going to be on a 30 percent you so when your potentiometer is here that will be classed to him as a zero. So you can sort of select where you want it to start reading the potentiometer from. And you can just say the same way you can do it in, in reverse as well for the maximum. So you can have him like a, like a scaling zone. But we're going to get in those videos a bit later on in some uh, different uh, tutorials. But in, in case if your potentiometer is somewhere down here and it doesn't work and nothing's moving forward it means your scaling has been set uh, uh, above a zero so make sure you change that to a, a zero which you can see in here so other than that uh, let's demonstrate how that works so now pretty much uh, you put in a uh, uh, run mode let's just get out of the menu and you have potentiometer that does its business and obviously, if you go into re reverse mode, it will go in reverse. You can see a little dial down there. That uh, is pretty much uh, is uh, what uh, that's the uh, RPM you have. So that's pretty much how that works. And obviously, the jog I have set the frequency for the jog at uh, 10 hertz. So you can just uh, use the jog button to whatever the situation you're using it. You can use that for moving things forward. And to change the frequency for the jog. You need to do that uh, in a, uh, where's that parameter? Mm, in, a, in a 1 to 208. So uh, it's in uh, 1208 in here. 
So you can set up what frequency you want for the jog button to be. So that will be a two-wire control. Hopefully I have covered everything. Obviously there's a ton more. This is a very smart drive. It's a very good drive. And there's a ton more parameters and it's actually quite quite easy to understand parameters as well. But obviously there's a, the, 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 the time is quite limited. So uh, we are going through just the basic uh, stations like so that are more or less used most commonly. So for that, having said that, uh, let's move on to three-wire control. Okay, now for the three wire control, all is wired up and uh, the only thing we need to change to get that going, we need to change the macro to macro group 2 and to do that, enter the menu, go to parameter, uh, small, uh, short mode, enter it and the first one's going to open up is 9902 and in there, go in there and change the macro group to 2 and it will reconfigure the inputs and some parameters as well and one of those some parameters are your acceleration acceleration time so make sure you check them out as well and if you change anything else that uh, I think you can what you can do uh, go in and have a look at your uh, change parameters in here and uh, these are all that's been changed in here in this group so uh you can because i already changed my acceleration the acceleration these two and if these two are not in the group in, in that uh window you're looking at in the change parameter window it means they've been uh, set back to default so uh you can pretty much see what what it has kept and what it didn't so uh, uh abb drive is quite smart about this and the station we're going to be using is uh looks like that so it's a uh, e-stop stop start uh forward reverse and speed and the wiring it's quite straightforward actually so uh the uh, source signal from the drive which is our uh, 24 volt signal from the terminal down there comes to our e-stop goes through e-stop and then it falls onto the stop button which is another normal uh, uh, close contact and then from there on, it carries on to digital uh, our past and a uh, normally closed stop button. It goes to digital input 2. And from there on, it is also power, uh, supplies the power to a, uh, a start signal and as for the reverse signal, the start signal is going to be activated by digital input 1. And a reverse uh, signal will be activated by digital input 3. And also we have a potentiometer so having said that that is pretty much it all you're going to need to do to get this station uh this station up and running regarding when it comes down to wiring and as i already we spoke already where the all things are and potentiometer we already spoke about that the only thing is left is and now to, to try it out and before we do there's one parameter i quickly want to uh, talk about is about uh, the, the noise control most of the drives have but i never really mentioned that mentioned that there's a thing called the switching frequency the switching frequency kind of helps you to limit the noise that comes out of the drive but it can come with the cost so with that cost is the higher the switching frequency the more heat is going to be generated in in the drive so you got to be careful with that and some drives have a good management uh, to uh, control that switching frequency and then to manage that uh, noise of the motor and some drives don't so definitely check uh, check that out and i think the parameter is a one three I can't remember one. A parameter for the ABB is uh, uh, 2606 where you can do your switching frequency and 2607 is where you can uh, sort of uh, put uh, some kind of management into it. Uh, def check out the page uh, 106, uh, 105 and 106 where you can read more about it. I just thought that out, so I'm going to uh, point that out for you guys to look at and that will pretty much can reduce quite a lot of noise from the motor. We're not going to be doing that live because we are running out of time. So out of that, only thing is left now to check it out how that runs okay and to test uh, how that runs it's pretty much uh, like that so uh, all we need to do is click the start button there we go potentiometer and when we select uh, again a uh, forward reverse uh, they will both uh, it will just uh, ram down and go to the uh, ram to the to in reverse and obviously in uh, for that purpose the, the start and the stop will work for both uh, reverse and uh, and forward so and obviously we have our uh, easter button which will shut down any uh, power going to the 
uh, controls uh, controls terminals down there so that's pretty much how uh, this station works for this drive and again I, I always recommend using this part of the uh, control so you can uh, have a, a mechanical way of removing power from your drive but that is again additional uh, uh, wiring and you can always implement that kind of wiring into this station as well which will, that e stop will be controlling that guy down there but I right, haven't said that ladies and gentlemen that'll be it for the two wire, two wire control three wire control and also within the uh, potentiometer and I forgot to say the potentiometer within this drive is from 1 kilo ohm all the way to 10 kilo ohms anything in that range will work so other than that uh, if you like the video please smash that like subscribe if you uh, comment below any questions Nick like I will do my best to answer them as accurate as I can hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video